blind panic. It, it's all kicking off out there, big time. And I'm sat in the van driving about in opposite direction. What the hell's going on? Kia ora guys, good morning. Absolutely desperate to find something, a tree, anything, a house, anything, a hill. We've got an absolutely banging dawn going on. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of didn't really expect it this morning. The forecast this morning was for heavy rain. The first heavy rain we'll have had in New Zealand for six months, seven months. So everybody's sort of, especially the farmers, everybody's looking forward to getting some pretty decent rain. Unfortunately, so far, not a, not a drop. All we have got is some seriously moody clouds up there and a cracking dawn. Lunched in the van, literally piling down the road try to find something unfortunately my, my motivations there my inspirations there my actual instincts to find something is not working I'm just driving around like a freaking I'm just driving around like a bit of a tool at the minute I've, I've gone on, gone on it's not there uh, whether I come up with a shot or not anybody guess at this stage I'll come up with something but I'm pretty sure it's going to be the I've, I've missed the best of well, have I missed the best of the light? I don't know. I will find something. God! It's looking stunning out there, absolutely stunning. Just need a tree. Just got to get through this little village, little village called Bridge Park, on the outskirts of Hastings. Maybe, maybe, I'll find something. Blind panic. It, it's all kicking off out there, big time. And I'm sat in the van driving about in opposite direction. What the hell's going on? I should have gone to the coast. Craig, was the time to get to the coast? I don't know. Some big trees here, some stunning big trees here, but unfortunately they're on the wrong side of the road. So that's not going to help me. Why didn't I go to the river? I could have gone to the river. Shit, the river was just around the corner. Okay, all right, we're, we're coming up to the aerodrome area. So I might just, oh no we're not, have we passed it? I've passed it, what a muppet, alright, forget that then. Uh, oh. It's freaking out, this, this sunrise, it's been going on for, I'll just see if I can darken that up a little bit for you, just let you see what it's like out there. This sunrise has been going on for ages, I mean absolutely ages. I woke up at 6.20, and it was just starting then, it's now 6.45 and it's still pumping heat out. Plenty of time, man. plenty of time. I've wasted it. I'm starting to get a little bit, uh, a little bit worried now. A million trees, a million trees we've got, but not one that's in the right place or solitary on its own. Gotta get a tree. Okay, okay. Stand to Woody, stand to Woody. Alright guys, I found a tree. I don't know if it's going to oh, fucking hell. I don't know if it's gonna work perfectly, but it's gonna to have to do. Oh man alive. And this is live time. I mean just look at that son of a gone. That is just fucking incredible. Thank you. 
Guys, stunning as that is, and it is gorgeous. I mean, it's freaking pretty amazing. As beautiful as it is, I'm not happy with that tree. Too much foliage on the tree, probably too much movement in the leaves. 10 second exposure, so what do you expect? It's gonna be a bit of movement in there, and it's quite a bit of wind, but I'm just not, I'm not overly happy with the, with that shot. It's okay, it's passable. Now what I'm gonna do, back in the van obviously we're going to set off a little bit further down the road I'm preferring this personally I'm preferring this side away from the rising sun away from the glowing red sky look at the subtle geez, straighten up, Paul. look at the subtle colors in the sky in the opposite direction to where the sun's coming up that's out to the west sun obviously coming up in the east this is going out in the west so those clouds there in front of us on the ahead of us on the road there they are they're my preferred clouds fire in the sky beautiful it's okay I prefer the circle colors all passing the colors and that's what we've got ahead of us there so it's just a case of pushing on a little bit further I think we've got about another 10 15 minutes maybe max because those clouds ahead of us they're going to catch even more light so they're going to blow even redder which will be okay that'll be good i just want to try and... an empty road what about an empty road road to nowhere road to nowhere with golden yeah sod it let's give this a go all right so what we're going to do we're going to get a road to nowhere Vineyards either side of the road. The trick is to not get run over. Okay, let's try not to get run over with a better look. like a rushed photo shoot. All right, now we're gonna push on. Oh, geez. Now we're gonna push on a little, little bit further. I think those the colours about to die, as you can see before you. The colours about to pack a sad, which means uh, which means shortly I can stop running about like a freaking idiot. If I get a chance. I'll turn again and try and get the, uh, the sun coming through. Oh, that might make a short ball, would it? We've got a massive irrigator on the right hand side there, which would have made quite a nice sort of foreground for a shot against the against a glowing red sky. I could do. I don't know. I'm struggling now. I'm... I'm thinking I might have uh, done my dash on this one. We're still in uh, isolation level three, which allows us to uh, to get out and about a little bit more. In isolation, obviously, and uh, not in big crowds, not doing anything stupid, just uh, getting out a little bit further within our region. To say can move around within the region which is oh shit which is okay actually because uh, we live in the best region in the country in my uh, 
laat ik bij een stukje in. Absoluut is een beautiful place all the way. So my plan after this shoot this morning is to head up to the hills there. And uh, just do a bit of a bit of a walk around, a bit of a hill climb before the before the expected bad weather comes. But to be honest with you, there's no real sign of the bad weather yet. We've got quite a bit of wind out there and a little bit of cloud as you can see. I think overly foreboding in the in the clouds rain-wise. And we are so desperate for rain. I photographed a guy earlier this week local farmer and uh, man he's doing it tough he's really doing it tough we're entering our 40th year of farming, so we're fairly, we've had 10 of these, 10 major droughts. This is a major drought. This is one of the th three worst ones. This is uh, now about month six of this uh, particular dry period, and it's getting progressively worse every day. Um, it takes us half the day to feed out, which uh, we don't like doing. And ordinarily, we don't do any feeding out. If it weren't for the sunny weather, we'd be uh, pretty depressed right now, but uh, the bank manager's been very good. So we're still here. So ordinarily this paddock here would have six inches of good 2,000 kilos dry matter on the 1st of May and it's currently sitting at about 800 so it's as bad as it gets. He's having to buy feed in to look after his animals because uh, nothing, nothing's growing on his land. He planted 26 grand, 26 thousand dollars worth of seed, and it started coming up. We had a little bit of a, a rain, a little bit of a rain event, nothing much, and the seed started coming up. And here we go, got a few shoots, and then the big dry hit again, and nothing, not a thing for him. So unfortunately, 26 thousand dollars worth of seed, Tom Bergen. So we desperately, desperately need rain. The sun's popping its nose up over the horizon there, it's quite diffused. I'm not seeing anything I can shoot with it. One thing I do like to shoot from time to time are these power poles. And you can see on the left hand side just whizzing past. They generally make a nice backdrop. Silhouette of trees in the foreground, that can make a shot. A lot of glare coming through the lens. Yeah, I think. Uh, Find one tree, just one tree on the right hand side without any foliage, just, just a bare skeletal tree. I can make a shot looking down the down the road with a tree slightly obscuring the rising sun. Power poles on the left hand side, silhouetted, might make a nice shot. The challenge is at the moment finding that one. What's this tree here? What's this tree? That tree, that tree there, that tree there. That tree there might make a shot because you've got power poles as well which swap over the road. It might make a shot. Let's jump out and have a crack. So guys, I've got a shot cooking in there at the moment. And as you can see, as soon as I pulled up, the, uh, the sun went behind a cloud. And uh, that could be it because there's quite a lot of cloud on the horizon there. So colour wise, I think we're done. Uh, leapt out of the van. Grab a quick shot, a real quick shot. Not great. Uh, the second shot's just cooking now, so fingers crossed. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think I've I've got a couple of shots I quite like. Second shot in particular, that was okay. The one looking down the road. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow morning. Set the alarm a bit earlier. <coughs> All right, guys. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that might be a wrap. Oh, bollocks! Push my kittens. Arr! Just push my curtains. Sat on my curtains and popped on me. Anyway. No pain, no gain.
All right, guys. Uh, I reckon that could be it. I don't think we're going to get much more of anything from this now. Real quick video. Christ, it seems like a real monstrously quick video because I've been running about like a blast flight. What am I going to do? What are you going to do, Paulie? reality of landscape photography this morning. No planning, no preparation. Get up, go with the flow. In hindsight, it's not done me any favours. That's what you get with absolutely no planning, absolutely no preparation, no forethought, no nothing. Just get up and go with the flow, which sometimes pays off. I've got a couple of shots, but nothing, nothing I'm going to frame and stick on my wall primarily because I don't have any walls on a van. Looking back at the photographs I got this morning in hindsight, my, fo my foreground subjects, that's what let me down. The sky, the conditions, everything was there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't put myself in the right location to, to take advantage of that. Uh, but it is what it is. Make the best of what you've got, what's put in front of you. All right, now, instead of dragging on this, uh, this episode, Hope you've enjoyed this fast and furious example of how relaxed and chilled landscape photography is and how, how sort of uh, soothing to the soul and, and, and mellow and meditative and just, just basically kick back landscape photography is. Not a bit of it, not if you treat it like I have done this morning, ridiculous. How not to do it. Alright guys, so from New Zealand, Kakite Ano. Have a great day wherever you are in this mad, crazy, beautiful world. Cheers guys, see you later.